If you've been wondering about the differences between UI design and UX design, you're not alone. UI and UX are often confused, but they are distinct roles in crafting digital experiences. They're often used interchangeably. They actually describe very different things. Let me quickly break down this for you in today's video. But before we begin, make sure to subscribe to IntelliPath's YouTube channel and click on the bell icon so you never miss any update coming from our team. UI versus UX. User experience design or UX design is everywhere from how you interact with your smartphone to how your home is designed. Of course, not all experiences are well designed and that's why UX design is such a rewarding and challenging field to be in. While the user interface or UI encompasses all the visual elements the user sees, hears and interacts with, including colors, typography, buttons, icons, screen, animations and more. These visual elements are key to support tasks and usability, while UI is how a product looks and all its visual elements, which plays a significant role in UX, which is the overall product experience. Now, let's begin by seeing what is UI and UX design refer to. So UI design, which is also known as user interface design, focuses on the visual and interactive elements of a product to create aesthetically pleasing interfaces, while a UX design also known as the user experience design, focuses on creating a seamless and meaningful user experience by understanding the user needs, conducting research, and designing intuitive interfaces. Now, let me give you an example of UI. UI is the table setting, dishes, and cutlery, so how it looks and feels. We're basically talking about the appearance here, while the UX is the service, menu, and the overall dining experience. So here we're talking about how enjoyable and efficient the experience is. Now, let's move forward and see the stages to creating a UI and UX design. Let's begin with the stages of UI design. First, we have define and research. Then we have design. And we have testing. So let us start with define and research. First thing, target audience. Who are you designing for? What are their needs and goals? Then project goals. What do you want to achieve with the design? Then we have competitor analysis. What similar products are doing well? What can you learn from them? And lastly, information architecture. How will the content be organized and presented? Then we have the design process. In this, we have wireframing. We create a low fidelity mockup to visualize the layout and structure. And then we have visual design, where we define the color scheme, fonts, and other visual elements. Then we have prototyping, where we develop high fidelity mockups for testing and user feedback. Then the last stage of UI design is test, where we have testing, where we test the UI for usability and accessibility. And we have iteration where we refine the design based on testing results and user feedback. Then we have prototyping again for the high fidelity mockup for testing and user feedback. Now let's see the stages of UX design, where we have research, prototype, and analyzing and iteration. So let's begin with research. In this process, we have empathize as the first process, where we understand the user needs motivations, and pain points through research methods like interviews, surveys, and user testing. Then we define clearly the project goals, target audience, and desired user outcomes. Then we analyze research data to identify user needs and opportunities for improvement. Then lastly, synthesize, where we develop user personas and user journeys to represent user behavior and needs. Next step, we have prototype, where first we ideate, meaning we brainstorm and develop innovative solutions based on research findings. Then we have prototype, where we create low fidelity and high fidelity prototypes to test and refine the design. Then we have test and iterate, where we conduct usability testing with real users to identify and address usability issues, iterate on the design based on the feedback. Then our third step is analyzing and iteration, where we first analyze the data to identify areas for improvement. Then we refine and iterate on the design based on the user data and feedback. 
Then we have improve, where we continuously improve the user experience. Now, despite the professional relationship of UI and UX, the roles themselves are quite different, referring to very different aspects of the product development process and the design. So let's take a look at the differences between UI and UX. So let us check out the differences between a UI versus UX. So first thing, focus. In the UI design, we focus on how it looks and feels, while in the UX design, we focus on the overall user journey and emotions. Then we have think, where in the UI design, every artist has the potential to be a teacher, where in the UX design, we think about the user research, information architecture, usability testing, and much more. The goal in the UI design is to make the product aesthetically pleasing, intuitive, and easy to go, while in the UX design, the goal is to make the product enjoyable, efficient, and meet user needs. The tools used in UI design are software like Figma, Sketch, Adobe. And in UX design, we use tools like surveys, analytics, and prototyping. Then lastly, UI designers collaborate with UX designers and developers, while a UX designer collaborates with UI designers, developers, and other stakeholders. Now let's see how closely do they work together. As now you know, UX and UI overlap, but are distinct disciplines. UX is the umbrella and UI falls under it. Both are essential for a product to succeed. If you've got a website with an attractive interface, but it's hard to use and navigate, the website won't succeed because it is a bad user experience. While a UX benefits from a stunning UI, beautiful design can enhance user experience. Think of them as two sides of the same coin. Both are crucial for creating successful digital products that people love to use for crafting exceptional digital experiences. Remember, UI and UX are not rivals, but collaborators. They work together to craft exceptional digital experiences. Now, let's take a look at the essential skills required to become a UI and UX designer. Starting with the skills required to become a UI designer, first we have visual design, where a strong understanding of color theory, typography, and layout principles are used. Then we have front-end development, where we use basic knowledge of HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. Then we have software proficiency, where we design software like Adobe, Photoshop, and Illustrator. Now, let's see the essential skills required for a UX designer. First, we have information architecture, where we organize content for optimal user experience. Then, we have interaction design, where we design intuitive and user-friendly interactions. Then, we have prototyping, where we create low and high fidelity prototypes for testing. Then on number four, we have user testing, where we conduct usability testing and analyze the results. Then on number five, we have wireframing, where we create low fidelity layouts for visualizing structure and flow. And lastly, designing software, where we use Figma, Sketch, and InVision. Now, moving forward, let's discuss the salary of a UI and UX designer. Now, because UI and UX are so crucial to the entire process of creating an application, they generally get paid really well. On an average, a UI designer makes 6,34,064 rupees per year in India. And a UX designer makes an average of 9,2881 rupees per year in India. And just with that, we have reached the end of the video. Thank you for staying tuned till the end of this video on UI versus UX. If you have any questions, feel free to leave down a comment below. Just a quick info guys. Intellipart offers advanced certification in UI UX design strategy. The program offers complete advanced certification training for those wishing to pursue a career in UI UX design strategy. The course curriculum is designed and mentored by the leading faculty at IIT Guwahati and is specifically designed for aspiring learners who want a career in this domain. You can check out the testimonials on our Achievers channel whose link is given in the description below. Without a doubt, this course can set your career to new heights. So visit the course page link given below in the description and take the first step towards career growth in the field of UI UX design.